Hello Uganda, hello Africa. Good morning. I'm so happy to be here today. I'm Pastor Senyonjo Vambusiwe. I welcome you all wherever you have been. I know on a certain note, some of you have just come from work. But for some of you who have just woke up, you are planning to go for work. I just love to see the glory of God being with you. Vambusiwe Church is where I come from. And I thank many of you who have been following us in this time of morning prayer. You have been so much inspired and you have been blessed. I love that so much. I met my son uh, called Michibi, uh, Michibi, I think, Michibi Destiny uh, from a certain secondary school. And he was telling me that uh, every day in the morning as he wakes up, he first takes time to listen to this morning prayer and to pray with us to get the words of encouragement. Then he goes to school. But the point was that previously he had demonic attacks at night. Just as simple as that. Every night he was getting attacks. He could shout, but in the sleep. Sometimes he could get wet dreams. But as he began to follow prayer, 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 he told me that now he has good nights. He wakes up early in the morning when he is fine, he's energetic, he's fresh, and now his studies are going on well. I love that so much. Because whenever people like me minister to you, children of God, and you get impacted, that's the reward of my heart. So even today, take this time and share uh, and, uh, and get this message as I'm sharing to you. And you can also share it to other people. Remember on YouTube, you can get me on PR Senyonjo Va Mubsibe. You'll be blessed. Today I want to talk about overcoming false accusations. Um, first of all, if you can read in the book of Matthew chapter 4. Matthew chapter 4 talks about Jesus. A man who is written that he was born of God, according to the Bible, he was born of God, and he believed in himself. But when he came to the world, people did not understand him. But remember in chapter 4, he did not go to do anything before he got the power in the spirit, according to the Bible. He got the power in the spirit to do things not by himself, but by the one who assigned him work. So as he finished the assignment, he finished the, 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 the fasting, 40 days, night and day, he was empowered with great power, with great fire. So when he went to begin to do his work, healing the sick, uh, teaching, many people said, but this is a demon. Others said, but this is a prophet. Others said, ah, no, maybe this is uh, somebody who came from uh, the wilderness, the so-called uh, Elijah. So people were talking about him. Some other things were good, and most of the things they were talking about him were bad. Even when they got good things from him, even when they saw miracles, even when they saw um, great teachings, they said, but he's a witch. One day they even cast stones unto him because he went and healed a madman at a, at the place at a, a mountainous place, and uh, then he caused the, all the the swine to go into the lake. So he was almost killed. They cast stones unto him, but in all that, according to the Bible, this man did not divert from the target. He kept the vision. And he did not mind of public opinion, but as long as he was following his assignment, his calling, and that which he was commanded to do, he did not deviate. The same thing is happening to many people as I talk. Many families have been broken because of false accusations. Many marriages have been broken. Relatives have turned to be uh, enemies to one another because of false accusations. We have things that were impacted in us Africans many years ago. Division. In, on a simple plate, I can remind you, many of you have been victimized of this. When you become rich from a poor family, all those who have not yet got money or have not got blessed like you are, raise up and they begin to say, you are a witch. 
I don't say that every wealth is pure. Some wealth are got in a bad way. But we shall not elevate the, 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 the point of wicked wealth only. We have to talk about good. Go to poor families. The families which have people who have suffered for many years. If one of them comes out to be successful, you'll find them saying, this is a witch. He went to the seas. He purchased marine spirits. It is the reason why he's rich. Go to a certain village where many people are not okay and one of them is successful. They begin to talk evil. Again, in the same way, at round the other side, you find those who are successful, when they see one suffering, they say he's suffering because he has something bad that he did. They begin to create stories. We have stories which are created here in Uganda, in Africa, in African societies. And these stories are believed by many people. They are becoming a threat to many people. But when they are not true. I met some Christian group, youth group, previous week. These youths were saying, you know, pastor, you know what? You have to pray for us. As we have called you, invited you, and you have accepted to come, you have to pray for us. I said, now, what do you want me to pray for you? They said, pray for us so that God will visit us. He will do a miracle. And I was so concerned to ask them, visit you in which way? They said, he will visit us, we shall get money, we shall become successful. And I had a lot of time to tell them that it will not come in that way. Don't think things just act or happen in that way. I told them you have to act in the right way. Don't think that there is a Jesus who is going to come and he will give you a job, he will give you money, he will do something miraculously. So if you are there and you are falsely accused of witchcraft, accused of killing so and so, accused of doing this and the other, calm down. Just focus on the truth, you will overcome. I'm sending this prayer to you for protection so that those who accuse you falsely will never affect you negatively. Father, I thank you today because I know many people out there are waiting to see the help of your hand. Many people have been falsely accused by their brothers that they are witch. Many people have been falsely accused to have killed some people, but when they are innocent, many people have been accused to have bewitched some people's businesses. And some people are standing strong to say, it is so and so who has made me fail. It is so and so who has made me get this miscarriage. It is so and so who has killed my son, my daughter. So and so caused my, this accident to me. But when these things are false, some people accusing their brothers, accusing their daughters, accusing their fathers, their stepmothers, to have bewitched them, though sometimes they happen. But Lord, I pray that for those who are innocent, today you stand to fight for them. For everybody who is innocent, may you be their, their lawyer. May you stand to judge, even at the time when they cannot say, I'm not the one. When they cannot be set free, I pray that you set them free. When all the opinions of other people are accusing them, but if it is true that they are innocent, I pray divine protection. Father, I pray for those who were accused falsely many years ago. May you give them more success so that their opponents will see that these people were not false, were not bad, were not negative, but they are people of God. I pray that you bless every woman who was accused falsely to be a witch. I pray that you bless them. Make them more powerful than they were expected to be. I pray for business people that they were accused, they are witch, they are thieves, they are robbers. May you protect them and give them power to go forward, to go beyond, so that their openness will know that these people accused you falsely. These people are blessed people of God. May you bless those who are ministers of the gospel, religious people, politicians, for anybody who has been accused you falsely. May you protect them and bless them the more. Thank you, Lord, because I know you hear my prayer now and forever. We go and amen. I'm Pastor Senyon Jovamusibe. I send that prayer to you. Please, you can call me. And if you can, please 
take time and come at Vamos Bay Church. Every Wednesday, I'm there right in the morning at 8 a.m. up to 3 p.m. Every Tuesday and Friday, I'm right in the services at 5 p.m. and every Sunday at 10 a.m. You can call me on 0752 229680 or 0782229680. When you want to come at Vamos Bay Church, come at Hoima Road, reach at Nansana Town, where Nabweru Main Road branches, but you go on the opposite. Ask for Vamos Bay Church, you will be right there. To follow all the teachings that I do, you can check on my YouTube channel on PR Senyonjo Va Mubusibe. We shall be together. May God bless you. Meet next time.